Then, when I switched schools in sixth grade, two of my really, really good friends made these posters. So this one says, Jasmine. And that one says, we'll miss you. Oh my god, they fell. Mommy! Okay, let's put them down. I'll put them up after this video. Ow! Oh, I cut myself. I didn't explain down here. Amir. I have a lot of Converse. I'm obsessed with Converse. Look at that cut. But anyways. So I'm like obsessed with Converse and shoes. So I have all my Converse boxes and most of my shoes over here. And then my kid. Then there's this lamp. And I actually made this bag. It says my name. And there's this pretty little lamp. And then if you turn, this is right next to the door. <coughs> um, and there's little books down there. And then up here I have my laptop. My two favorite body sprays, cute little pictures of when I was a kid, um, another two candles, my phone, I am obsessed with Play-Doh, and then in these drawers are just too miscellaneous and messy to go through, so I'm not going to do them. I have a couple of my favorite picture books down here, and then up here, I just have books like, this is a favorite, and it's a classic, Fahrenheit 451. Um, I also have like the Harry Potter books. I am, of course, a Twilight junkie, and I have two Twilight copies of Twilight because I read this so many times that it turned into this, and so I had to get a new copy, just to get a new copy because it's Twilight. And the only book I'm missing is New Moon. I've read New Moon, but I don't know why I don't have it. I have a little baby Barbie. I have a cute little photo album. V.C. Andrew book. Um... A little mini collection of Pez's. Jasmine, see her eyes are cross-eyed. Look at that. <coughs> um, and then there's this cool thingy, which I really like. And it's all like, Phew. Zebras, I'm obsessed with zebras. So there's a zebra. Mickey Mouse, again, my family loves Disney and all that. And then I got this for my mom. For <coughs> I'm really sorry about the coughing. I got this for my mom for Mother's Day. And I decided to put it in my room because I liked it too much. Listen. You are the cutest thing in the world. Oh, my goodness. I mean, all you can say is, oh, my goodness, you are so cute. I know it by heart because I just love it. So anyways. Then up here, you have a giant Pez. You have a rusty piggy bank, but I like it. I have, I'm going to try to stand in it to show you. That jasmine thing lights up. Oh, I'm sorry. That jasmine thing lights up. And then I have this little jewelry boxes back there. Then these are all my earrings, bracelets, and rings. Um, just some extra jewelry in here. And then this is actually really pretty. My aunt got it for me. It's a necklace holder, but it's a dress. And I kind of have to pull the necklaces away for you to see it. But it's really, really pretty. And then these are some magazines. I'm, whoa. I'm really obsessed with magazines. <coughs> and that's it for the desk. So you come in here, and this is my bathroom. Um, no need to show the shower. That's where I wash my body. This is just body sprays, lotions, body butters, um, deodorants, things you put on your body. And here are hair things and everyday makeup. This is just makeup I don't really use that much. This is a cute little thing that one of my next door neighbors got me. Um, some change. These are just a bunch of little eyeshadows and things like that. <coughs> um, I do drink a lot. So these are the drinks I'm alternating between right now. And another candle. Then I have all my hair products and gels and sprays. My soap, which this is the bag it comes in, but it kind of like, it looks like weird because I have eyeliner on it. And my face wash, um, teeth things, mouth washes, toothpaste, toothbrushes. Um, then over here, let's go to the drawers. So this is just sunglasses. I'm obsessed with a lot of things. Sunglasses is one of them. Like, <laughs> these are my Barbie sunglasses. These are one of my favorites. The cute little peace sign. I really like these ones. And then these are grandpa glasses. I can't even see. <laughs> but anyway, you go to the next door, and there are some magazines, mostly makeup books, and all the magazines that really help me with makeup. And then I have a cute little players makeup kit, like eyeshadows and stuff. So that's cute. And then I have this is miscellaneous stuff. I have a lot of vitamins, um, Cheerbo, hair brushes, zip lock baggies, Bjorn strips. Um, there's a lot of stuff in it. So you come to the bottom drawer, and it's also miscellaneous. It has hair dye, a scarf. It's mainly like bags and stuff at the bottom, and it has like ant spray because we live on a slab, and that's a problem. Um, then you have the next one, and this is other makeup that I kind of don't use as often. 
and then I have to TikTok. But this is like also miscellaneous stuff. There's another magazine in here, and there's all these little stick-on tattoos and Chris white strips. Okay, I hate these white strips. This is my mini review. You put them on your teeth, it makes you gag, it slides around, and I want the classic seal. That's also on my wish list. I have a big wish list. I'm not picking that up right now. Okay. So then this is my belts. I do have a lot of belts. And then that's more like storage. I have baby powder in there. That's just like all these empty bags and stuff. <coughs> um, this drawer is open. It's like one of those teasing drawers. Like, hey, which drawer? But I don't open. But then you come to the next drawer, and there's actually a knob that opens. And there's like hair thingies and stuff in there. It's all about like headbands. Then this is all my electric tools plus my curlers. So I have a diffuser, my straightener, curling iron, my wet to straight, my blow dryer. It's zebra. Isn't this cool? I know. And then under here is just like toilet paper and extra stuff. And then I just have this cute little picture of baby. I like it. It makes me happy. <coughs> um, Hello Kitty again is a weakness. My little green mat. My cute little Hello Kitty towel. And then you come in here and this is the last resort. Now it's a little messy, but it's a closet. I'm a girl. I mean, I don't know what else to say. But there's my closet. And then you come in here, and this is the last resort. Now it is a little messy, but it's a closet. I'm a girl. I mean, I don't know what else to say. But there's my closet, and it has all these clothes. These are kind of just like some of my mom's clothes, and a pageant dress, an old little pageant dress from when I was like really little. My Halloween costume, my condo outfits, my cheer costume, which I'll pull it out. <coughs> that's the back. So yeah, that's my cheer uniform. And then you have just clothes. They're not in any order. I'm not the kind of person that gets my clothes in order. It takes too long. And up here is my collection of Barbies, or a little piece of it. And there's just all these pretty Barbies. My favorite is probably the little fairy back there, which I know isn't a good place for my favorite, but... And I think the prettiest one is probably the blue one. <coughs> <coughs> and my mom actually started the collection, and that was her first ever to the collection, I guess. And then up here is just, like, storage, random stuff that doesn't even belong there. Um, and then down here is really nothing. Just pictures and stuff. That concludes my room tour. You have to see my closet, my bathroom, my bedroom, and everything. I knocked out a few posters, got cut. Almost set something on fire. Got the white strip. Made a review on my white strip. Yeah. So, I'll see you guys in two weeks, I guess. And, bye for now. Ciao. Oh, wait, before. You guys probably think, oh my gosh, she is crazy. Why does she have writing on her arms? Well, today, well, because it's 1 o'clock in the morning, it's not really today, it was yesterday. But today when I woke up for school, because I haven't gone to sleep yet, it was National To Write Love On Her Arms Day, November 12th. Yeah. Is that 12 to you? Okay. November 12th. And To Write Love On Her Arms is actually a real foundation, and it fights suicide and all that. And we have this kid in our neighborhood like three weeks ago who committed suicide, so it's a big thing in our neighborhood. And so I wrote love and all these things that mean love. That was a heart originally, and then I just, I, yeah. So I'm not a freak. It's actually a good cause. I don't just do this every day. And that means to write love on her arms, if you're wondering. And then that's his day. Twilla day. So I'm not a freak, I promise. Well, I don't know. But this isn't freaky, and 